I get a lot of messages from women on social media telling me that they've seen Saint and they've been tempted, but they've never really pulled the trigger and maybe it's not a good time and maybe money's a little tight. They don't wanna be oversold. I've got you. This is Saint on a budget. I know times are tight. I'm gonna show you the bare minimum of getting into Saint, the most beautiful makeup that I just feel so pretty in close up. By the way, we are the Look Good Close Up Club here on my, my YouTube channel, but I'm going to show you the bare minimum you need to get started. You don't have to buy the whole shipping in the beginning. You don't even have to buy the brushes in the beginning. But what you do need is, is a compact for your full face. And I'm going to show you how to do that mature edition. It doesn't require any polka dots or any stripes. You don't have to put it on with your fingers. It's super simple. And if you have always wanted to know about Saint, I felt like we needed an updated version of Saint on a budget. So. I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I worked in the Hollywood industry. I now live on the East Coast. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of 22 videos on mature technique. I just did an updated one on skincare. And I think the next one is going to be makeup on someone who is 70 because I just turned 56 and I realized there is a difference between 50s late 60s, 70s, every 10 years, we have a whole new set of problems. So I would love to do that. And I'm gonna add that to the masterclass. So get locked in now, it's only $67. You never pay another penny, you're locked in for life. And anything I add is just a bonus to you. Do that now. Link is always in my description. So you just click on the title of today's um, video and the whole description box pops down with all the links. Okay. Times are tight, okay? Kids are going back to school, summer's winding down. I have women reach out all the time on social media saying, you know, I've looked at Saint on and off for years. I've never taken the plunge. I'm thinking about it. Times are kind of tight right now. So I thought, let's do Saint on a budget. The very, very minimum you need to get started, okay? The very minimum. And I've broken it all down. I wrote it all down. I did different scenarios. And um, hold on, I just wanna put a little bit of um, this new peach lip balm is so nice. It's basically our lip balm and has the nicest peach scent to it. It's not overpowering, it's really nice, okay. Just want to get my lips nice and ready. Okay, so here we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start um, a little bit differently. So basically, we have different starter palettes. We have the little four pack, which you can get um, like a foundation, a bronzer, or contour, a blush and cheek, and then personally, I would put two demi in here, but. We'll, we'll check in a minute to see if that all fits. So you could get just a four palette, which makes the price even lower, under a hundred. Um, but you could also, I really recommend women starting with the eight palette. First of all, when you fill up the palette, you get a product credit. So this palette is $28, it's a double decker, but you get a $15 palette credit, making this really cool palette only $13, it's magnetic. Trust me when I say you're gonna grow into it. I would rather you start with a larger palette and slowly fill it up over the next six months than start here and then boom, now you're gonna need another palette, okay? This will hold your entire face. This might necessarily not, but it still could be good for a starter, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a foundation color. Now, I did not include brushes because I'm going to assume that if you're on a budget, you can only get the bare minimum. You could probably get by with using maybe a few brushes that you might have at home. I'm gonna, of course, use the same brushes because they're my favorite. Um, this is called the 3D brush and it's literally meant for the 3D foundation, which is called a highlight, which is confusing, I know, but it's called a highlight instead of a foundation. So I do it differently than the young girls. Young girls will pick three different shades. They'll do the main shade. They'll do um, a little bit lighter of a shade, like maybe through the center of the face, the jawline, and then they pick a really light shade 
for concealer. I don't like 3D as concealer. At 56, I have too many little lines. I have too many nooks and crannies. This is on the, it can be on the thicker side. You can put it on sheer, but nobody does. They all put it on pretty heavy. Um, and I just don't personally like how it looks. So for me, I only, only put Demi. And this is a color corrector. We'll get to that in a minute. I want you to love it. I want you to be happy with it. I don't think most women over 45 are going to be happy with putting foundation under their eye. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I wouldn't put it on anyone in my makeup chair. That's what Demi is for. So, but you get to do you. If you want to do two foundation colors, a one that matches you perfectly and one that's a little bit lighter that you can use under the eye, do it. Go for it. But that's just not how I color match. So, um, I'm going to choose the color called Athens and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it only where I need it. Okay. We're doing very simple. I'm not picking up a lot. See, I'm not picking up a lot and I'm kind of just going down my nose. This is so easy. Anybody can do this. I'm doing a little bit on the cheeks. I have some sunspots and discoloration. I have veins in my temples. So I like to go in this little area through here. I like to take a little bit under my nose. Okay, so far we don't have it in too many. I mean, we have it all over, but it's super light. I go on the chin. Now, do you see here? Look, nothing here. Here it is. Do you see how well that blends in? So we're gonna do a little on the chin. I need a little bit on my jawline. I don't know about you, but my jawline has become quite discolored in the past year or two. Quite discolored, okay? There we go. Now, you can take the brush because it's been sitting on our face for a minute. You can take the brush and just, I'm not taking it up to the hairline because I'm gonna use bronzer up there and the bronzer has a tiny bit of coverage in it, but I'm just kind of making sure it's well blended. There's no seams showing. We don't really wanna see where it starts and stops. Okay, let's see. Yeah, really nice. Now. If you are brand new to Saint and you have oily skin, I would recommend skipping moisturizer. You could do a vitamin C serum. You could do some type of um, juicy hydrating serum. Let that absorb for a few minutes. Put on your SPF, let that absorb. This one I love, it's my number one. Um, it's a collagen mineral. It's Naked Sundays from Australia. It's SPF 50. It's excellent. I've used it ever since maybe April, March, April. I love this. And it, it's the slightest tint. So if you're dark skin, I can't attest to how it works, but it's not tinted in like a skin color way. It's more of just like a beige. So when you put it on, it lightens you just a little bit, but not with a white cast. But what I like about that is it kind of floods out my sunspots. So I really love it. And it's a primer built into it. So you don't need primer. You just put this on after your skincare. Now you're always gonna wait a couple minutes after you put SPF on, you want it to set. And then you can go in with this. You don't need a moisturizer if you're oily because this is a cream-based foundation. It's emollient. Now if you have normal to dry skin or dry skin, I do recommend a moisturizer then your SPF in this, okay? So that's all I'm saying is maybe skip a moisturizer if you're on the oily combo side um, because you won't need it. Just use something hydrating, like some kind of serum, then SPF, then this. But give it a few minutes in between steps. It's so, so important to any makeup. Not even saying any makeup I talk about on the planet. I tell you, wait for your skincare to absorb, wait for your SPF to set, then go in with primer or makeup, okay? So we have that all over, that's it. And you could even use, sometimes I'll even grab this little BK Beauty brush. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy A506. They, they call it a kitten paw because it looks like a little cute kitten paw. Um, 
it doesn't have to be BK Beauty. I mean, if you're gonna spend money on BK Beauty, you might as well do the Saint brushes. But what I'm saying is you could do a little brush like this to put it on all over, okay? Um, now I'm going to go in with bronzer um, because I'm a bronzer girl. You might not be. And I meet a lot of older gals who don't like bronzer. They've never really worn it or maybe they wore it when they were younger and they just don't love bronzer. That's okay. You don't have to wear bronzer. On my color matches, I always tell women bronzer and contour is completely um, optional. But I put a little bit on my upper cheeks and the outside of my face. I do a little bit on the top of my forehead. I do a little bit on the nose, because you know, that's where we get sun. If we go out and, and we get a little bit of sun, that's where we get sun. Might do a tiny bit on the chin, okay? Do you see how I'm kind of nice and warm on this side? This side is still just foundation. This side now we've got a little bit more dimension going on. Now for those of you who don't want bronzer, I'm going to show you how um, a contour could work in its place. So let's see, that's suede. This is cedar. I love cedar because it's a warm contour, so it doesn't look um, too ashy. But if you have any silver in your hair, if you are a brunette that leans towards silver, jewelry if you are a blonde that's ashy and leads to silver jewelry you might want to do a, a contour that's less warm perhaps one called ash or shadow and i always help you with that when i see your photo you always submit a photo but i really love this new cedar because it's warm and not everyone wants a cool gray ashy um contour this is warm it kind of blends right into your skin so i'm going to show you the difference this is bella bella disappears a little bit more than contour contour is kind of a little bit more pigmented not as sheer and it's really meant to contour see it's you know i have a five head instead of a forehead so it's done a little bit of shading we do not do any contouring at the temples because look we're already sinking in you can tell we sink in here, that's where our skeletal sinks in. We sink in, we lose collagen, we start getting the veins on the side of our face, so we never contour there. Um, but you can contour your cheekbone. I'm just gonna contour one side. Now this is just bronzer, it's not contour, but this is actually contour. This is our little detail brush, but again, you don't have to buy brushes if you're getting in at the bare minimum. So I'm just doing a little bit. You always want to go back to the ear and the hairline. Okay, and then we've got contour. Personally, I like bronzer a little bit better, um, but you definitely can do contour. I like contour on the cheeks. If someone has full cheeks, if someone is broad through the face, if someone has a fuller face, it's great to contour the cheeks. Or even if you have kind of a defined cheekbone, but you want to enhance that a little bit for an evening out. You can do a tiny bit of contour, but be very careful if you're the type that you've already got a prominent cheekbone and this is hollowing out. You don't want to hollow yourself out even more, okay? So this is why I tell everyone contouring is not for everyone. I'm going to go under here because I like a little bit of shading under there. You could definitely do the jawline Take it down the neck a little bit. I also like to do a little bit of bronzer, but I just wanted you to see, you probably don't need contour and bronzer. You probably just need one or the other. If you don't like bronzer, get a little contour. It's great for confidence. It's great for jawline. It's great for neck and under chin. It's great for carving out a cheekbone. If you don't have a cheekbone and you wanna add a little bit of sculpting to the face, okay? But I just wanted to show you the difference. A little bit warmer, bronzier here, here, still the foundation with contour. So you get to decide which look you want. I never use them together unless it's a super, super special occasion. I would never use bronzer and contour on myself, okay? Um, let's go into powder. Now, we make a powder. I absolutely love it. It's called vanilla dusting powder, but 
Again, this is stained on a budget, so you could use any powder. You could use drugstore powder. You could use any loose powder that you might have. Sitting around loose powder lasts for years, doesn't it? But I like to go through just the center of the face only because I am normal to dry, but I will set it where I have pores because our pores tend to want to drink in makeup a little bit. And then also, because I'm wearing my hair down today, I might want a little bit of powder on the outside of my face just so that my hair doesn't stick, okay? But that's it. And then I'm going to do the tiniest bit on my eyelid because I'm going to do a quick eyes for you. Even though Saint on a Budget would maybe not, not necessarily include shadows, I'm going to do my eyes today because I need to do them anyway. And I'm going to keep them really simple. So simple. You're not going to believe this. I'm going to go in with a color called Sabrina. It's just a really pretty kind of little beige shimmer kind of a cream colored shimmer. I'm gonna do the tiniest bit. Look at that, put it on with my finger. Could that be easier? I don't think so. And then I'm gonna go in with, I like to go in with like a little bullet brush. This is by Refer, but you could also probably get one with Real Techniques or Elf. Um, or not Elf, Morphe. Morphe makes some great brushes. Okay, I like it on that inner eye because it kind of brightens that inner eye where we start to sink in. We can kind of like brighten that inner eye a little bit. I like to take a little bit under the eye, not much, but look at that. So simple, right? Now I already have a little bit of a crease. I just had an upper bluff done, so I have a little bit of a crease, but I want to take a really pretty shadow brush and I want to do a little bit of shadow in my crease. And I think I'm gonna do, let me, let me see what color this is. I think this might be chai. Yeah, I'm gonna do a color called chai. It's not too dark, but this is really pretty too, especially if you have more cool tones. Basic is very pretty. See how that's a little bit more taupey than chai. Chai is a little bit warmer, but I'm going to do chai today because I don't want anything too um, dark. It's a, it's a hot summer day. I'm going to go run errands and I just need very, very simple um, shadow. And I kind of start in the crease and slightly above. I like that it kind of covers some of my veins. There, see how simple that is? It kind of covers discoloration because I have very discolored eyes as I'm getting older. So that's all that is. That's just Chai and Sabrina. That's it, that's all I'm using. And then I have my Lashify on, but you could definitely do um, you could definitely do um, mascara. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in now with um, a little color correction. Now, again, I use the bright brush or the spot brush. They're fluffy on one side for blending and this kind of helps apply. I like color correction on older women because we are correcting excess color in our skin. So we're canceling out that color and it remains very skin-like. So for a lot of Caucasian women, I will do 03 or Y01, depending on your skin tone, and then a little bit of 01 um, to kind of help brighten. So I'm gonna go in with a little 03 and doing the tiniest I like to go in here too because I definitely have a shadow this side's so health helpful too to kind of blend got a big old I think I nicked do you ever nick yourself in your sleep with your 
nails. I think I nicked myself. I have a few little veins right here. I like to kind of cover there. But see, do you look at that? Look at that. Do you see how pretty that is? And, and it's got this beautiful sheen to it that never dries down or gets cakey in the way the concealer does. Listen, I put concealer on for other brands all the time. They always look very pretty at first. If you put them on with like a fluffy brush, they're very pretty at first, but within almost no time, they start to matte down, they start to dry down, they start to get cakey, they start to make your eyes look more crinkly, your lines look more sharp. This doesn't do that with Demi. Demi is a wax and it just stays put. I mean, wax just stays put. So that's why I recommend that for mature women. That's it. If someone says, what's a good 3D color for under my eyes? I say, I don't do 3D color under the eyes. And listen, I have done color matching with Saint for over a year and a half. I match about four to 600 women every single month. 100% of the time, it's Demi. I never recommend highlight under the eye. Never, 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 never. Demi changed my life absolutely love it. It's pretty close up. What do we call ourselves here? We call ourselves the Look Good Close Up Club. Okay. Then I will go in with a little bit of the O1, just a little bit. And look, I'm using the fluffy brush. I'm picking up very little. I'll go in with the tiniest bit and only in areas that I have not put O3. We don't layer Demi. Demi is a color corrector. We do not layer it. And then look and seeing that outer eye, it kind of lifts that outer eye. I love it. I love Demi so much. See, look at this. I'm going to go in only in areas that I don't have the O3. Oh, a little bit on my lashes. I'm going to even take a little bit, whatever is left on the brush, and kind of go over some of my veins on the side. We can even get around the nose. I have other colors I recommend for red around the nose, but again, this is staying on a budget, so you could even take a little bit of the 01 or 03. And there we have it. Now, for sake of the video, this is not something I would necessarily recommend with Saint on a budget, but I am going to take the tiniest bit of NV plus one, tiniest bit, and I'm just going to go into my lash line with it just to kind of help enhance my lash line. And then I might go under. I'm not re-dipping. It's just whatever is on the brush. I'm kind of dipping and it kind of creates this beautiful natural shadow. It looks really dark, but look at this. I want to show you on my hand. See how it just looks kind of taupey, like a natural shadow? Just love it. It really does cast a natural shadow. So it kind of gives you the little bit of a, like a smoky eyeliner without looking like eyeliner. People just think it's your, it just looks like your lashes are casting shadow. But again, that's not necessarily for Saint on a budget because now that's going to put you over what I have recommended. You can also take, see this little sunspot here? You can also take the littlest bit of 01. And when I say pixelate, last, last week a lot of people were really confused by pixelate. When you, when you look at a, a TV really close up from yesteryear, not, not so much HGTV because that's different, but when we would look at a TV close up, right? It was all the little pixelations of color that made a picture. Well, when I say pixelate, I mean to like, we're not blocking in color. We're doing a little bit of pixelation. And then that way, when you get close up to it, you don't see, oh, here's a big oval of color I use to hide my sunspot. No, we're pixelating. We're, we're camouflaging it, okay? I want you to think of pixelation as camouflaging, okay? Now, let's get my blush palette. 
for most women who are starting out, I want you to have a little pop of color on your cheeks. So I love to recommend pink grapefruit. If you are cooler toned, I might recommend um, baby watermelon. Um, but if you are scared of color and you just like something more muted, um, oh my gosh, Summer Love is so pretty. It's kind of a cool, pinky neutral, kind of a pinky. It's like more like mauve-y. Um, but I'm gonna do a little, is this pink grapefruit? Let me see if this is, what's this one? This is pink grapefruit. See how that's not scary? <laughs> you know, this is baby watermelon here. So it's got more blue tones. So if you have like blue or green eyes and you're blonde or silver, baby watermelon might be so beautiful. If you um, are brunette and you lean towards more silver, you might like baby watermelon. So I will put people in either baby watermelon or pink grapefruit to start. You want a little bit of color on your cheeks and I'm gonna show you right now that it's not scary. I'm gonna take the, the side of my, ooh. Okay, we're gonna leave it right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I haven't worn pink grapefruit in a million years because I kind of am addicted to a couple others, but I really like people to start off with a little bit of color. I think color is very pretty on mature skin. I just do. I think it's so pretty. Um, okay, so kind of taking it back to the hairline, you could do a little bit on the nose. You can even pop a little bit on the forehead. And I haven't blended that in yet, so don't be afraid. Now we're gonna go in and blend the edges. Now we blend the edges. Okay. And there we have it. And we can do it on the lips too, and I'll show you that in a minute, okay? So that's pink grapefruit. It's just super safe. It's very pink, but it's very sheer. Also, fun trick, if you ever feel like, uh-oh, I put on too much, you can also take your leftover foundation brush and just go in, don't re-dip it in foundation. We don't wanna re-dip it, but you can just take it and kind of blend out the edges and now you've kind of like created even more of like a um, airbrush look, okay? You can do that. Now, here's one thing I'm gonna tell you. If you're not used to cream blush, you almost wanna put a pinch more on than you're used to because as you're tapping the skin, you're bringing blood to the surface and you're gonna have more color the first few minutes and you're gonna go, uh-oh, that's too much color. Blend it out, give it a few minutes, look back in the mirror and see if it's where it needs to be. If it's not, take your foundation brush and do this, okay? Because look, even now I have less color than I did a few minutes ago and it's because I was doing this. This is gonna bring blood to the surface, okay? And then I'm going to do a little bit of lip liner. Let's see if I have a pretty one. Pimple. Why does God let us get pimples into our mature years? I'll never understand it. I thought we left all that behind. with puberty. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the pink grapefruit. It stays on surprisingly well too, it always shocks me. And now we have a cohesive look because now our lips and our cheeks match. And when our lips and our cheeks match, nothing ever looks off, it just looks so well blended. I like to do uh, a little bit more lip liner after I put the color on, just to kind of blend it. And then of course we can take our peach. Nope, that's not peach. <laughs> that would have been real bad if I put that on. A little bit of peach. I'm gonna do a little bit of peach. Give myself a real pretty nice slip. Okay, let's see how this all looks. I love it. 
super, super easy. Now I realize this is about a 30 minute video, but you can do this whole makeup look in five to 10 minutes, depending on your skill level and how fast you wanna put it on. What's nice is you have your whole face in one palette. Okay, so let's break this down, okay? So we could do um, a foundation. Hold on, let's, let's pop this out so you can see a good visual. I'm gonna do, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do the, the double palette because I really think everyone needs the double palette. I think you'll just be mad at yourself if you order the smallest palette and then you're like, uh-oh. I'm gonna pop my powder out because that's not saint on a budget. Okay, so we are gonna do the foundation, the bronzer, and a blush. Foundation, bronzer, and a blush, okay? Easy peasy so far, right? Easy peasy. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna do Demi 03 and Demi 01. I'm gonna pop them right in here. And there you go. Your whole face in one palette. Your whole face in one palette. So Athens is 16, bronzer, well, Athens is my foundation. So foundation is 16. Um, whether you choose a bronzer or a contour, those are 16. Pink grapefruit, 16. 0103, those are $22 each. Demi is a little more expensive, but you're gonna have it forever. When I tell you that I have had these for over a year. That's how little you use, okay? So all of that comes to 88. Then you're gonna pick a palette. Now remember, I told you the double decker is $28, but you get a $15 credit because you just bought product. So now the palette's only 13. So you can have this whole palette right here with your whole face for 101. You get free shipping. So you're just gonna pay tax. 101 is your net total. And then you have, this will be empty and you can add eyeshadows over time. You can add other things, but trust me, you're gonna want the double palette, even if you can't afford everything now. I love our powder, you might wanna get that eventually. Um, anyway, so that's staying on a budget. And when I tell you that I am constantly shocked by the prices of um, drugstore makeup, now your Wet n Wilds, your Elfs, that stuff is low, low, low pricing, and some of it's great. So if you're on a budget and you can only do like Elf eyeshadows, do it, do it. Let You want the skin to be the star of your face. Shadows, you could always get an Elf shadow if you want. Um, I don't love a lot of cream-based products in the drugstore. I feel that they are odd colors. Um, Mascara you can definitely buy in a drugstore. Great mascaras in a drugstore. Brow, um, pencils, Maybelline, the, the skinny Maybelline Ultra Thin Pencils, one of my favorites. You could get that in a drugstore. But if you did your whole face in a drugstore, and I've done this before, and I've done drugstore budget videos, you're looking at minimum 120 to do your whole face, minimum. And this is only 101. And you've just cut down on packaging, you cut down on buying things, you cut down on all the makeup trends, you're not tempted anymore because look, your whole beautiful face is in one palette. So this is why I love Saint, absolutely love it. And I know we're going into some tough times, we're going into um, a, an election year, um, gas is on the rise. And so, you know, it's back to school time, women are spending money on kids right now. But for 101, your whole face is in one palette and you won't have to buy new product for quite a while. So it's exciting. I'm happy to help. You can always get a free color match. That link is always, again, you click on the title of the video and a menu pops down and you will always see my masterclass in there. You will always see a free color match, except on Saturdays when I talk about traditional makeup. Anyway, I'm so happy you're here. I just meet too many women via email. They'll reach out to me. And, you know, the either maybe were oversold too much product or they were sold that whole 
very much 3D system, which is beautiful on the younger women, but it doesn't really always work for us. And the polka dots and the stripes, it just doesn't work for us. It does on younger skin because when it warms up, they can buff it in. But what happens to older skin? The skin moves with the brush, right? Like our skin's like, you know, it's just, it's harder to blend on older, mature skin. It just is. It's just a fact of life. You know, I'm not trying to depress anyone, but we don't have that younger, tighter skin where they can do all the polka dots and the stripes and they have fun doing it. I don't knock it anymore. I did in the beginning. I thought it was such nonsense. And now I'm like, okay, they're having fun. You know, Michelle, let them have fun. They love doing that method. They think it's so fun to do videos on their polka dots and their stripes and and then they blend it in and it's fun for them. Don't take that away from them, but it's just not for mature women. It's just not. And if you're a mature woman who can do the whole polka dot and stripe thing, let us know in comments um, and good for you. Good for you. Um, but I think my method is just so simple and it works and I have a year and a half of proof behind it. So I'm happy you're here. You can always ask questions and comments. Um, I think this Saturday I was going to do my video on plastic surgery, but I think I'm going to push that a week because this Saturday Mob Beauty has launched a couple new products. I want to talk about it. So it'll be a, a super fast, easy video um, on Saturday, but you know, Mob is like my family. Saint is like my husband. Um, so Saint is my number one. Mob is near and dear to my heart, but what I love about Mob and Saint is everything is sustainable packaging. And you're not throwing things into landfills and you're not throwing excess packaging out. It's just simple, it's all clean, it's all healthy for you, it's so beautiful. That's really the future of makeup in my opinion. So I'll see you Saturday for some Mob Beauty. I'm glad you're here. God loves you and so do I. See you next week.